Rudy Giuliani's new Georgia attorney is speaking out tonight about his client, the criminal case, and why he was chosen in the first place. Giuliani hired a lawyer who practices two hours away from, from Fulton County in the mountains of Raven County. That's where Fox 5 team reporter Randy Travis visited for this exclusive interview. Randy? Yeah, let's face it, Courtney, anyone who represents Rudy Giuliani in the Georgia election interference case faces a daunting task. The former Trump attorney's fingerprints are all over the criminal indictment, mentioned 56 times, second only to Donald Trump. But Alan Stockton says his defense will be simple. The defense is what they did was not illegal. He might not have liked it, but he was representing a client. There's not going to be any evidence that's really in doubt. It's going to be, what does it mean? There's also no doubt this is Alan Stockton's biggest case in his criminal defense career. The longtime county attorney for Rabin, Stockton takes over after Rudy Giuliani's original Georgia lawyers withdrew from the case in October. When Giuliani's New York lawyers approached Brian Steele, already tied up with the Young Thug case, he recommended Stockton. The absurdity of the number merely underscores the absurdity of the entire proceeding. Since then, Giuliani has lost a defamation case in D.C. filed by two Fulton County election workers for wrongly accusing them of election fraud. He was ordered to pay Ruby Freeman and her daughter Shay Moss $148 million. A few days later, the man once lauded as America's mayor after 9-11 declared bankruptcy. The day I met him was the day he filed bankruptcy. I was expecting somebody that would be preoccupied. For everything that was going on in his life, it was amazing to see how he could compartmentalize and, and focus on what we were talking about. The most crooked election, the most manipulated election in American history. The 13 counts Giuliani faces primarily involve his remarks during three appearances before Georgia General Assembly committees in December 2020. And so this stops right now. Stockton says Giuliani was only being an advocate for his client, President Donald Trump. Mayor Giuliani did not create all this stuff. This is stuff that was brought to him as part of his representation. He was saying this is proof of fraud, not we think this might be proof we need to investigate. I'll say this, he absolutely believes everything he said. Even now, does he believe it? In principle, yes. State and federal authorities investigated Giuliani's sure. claims uh, and found no evidence to support any of it. Does he still believe that 10,000 dead people voted in Georgia? have not talked to him about that in particular. I, or 2,500 felons voted in Georgia, because that just wasn't that, true. The information they had at the time was based on what experts were giving them. Currently, Giuliani is set to go to trial with 14 co-defendants, including some where he's mentioned in court filings, but not indicted for the crime. That includes Coffee County, where a civil case turned up evidence Giuliani was connected to the attempts to illegally access voting machine software. One of the consultants hired texting on January 1st, 2021, just landed back in D.C. with the mayor. Huge things starting to come together. Most immediately, we were just granted access by written invitation to the Coffee County systems. Do you know Rudy Giuliani? Fifth Amendment. And in the civil suit deposition of co-defendant Kathy Latham, she refused to answer any questions about Giuliani. Have you ever communicated with him about gaining access to uh, Dominion voting equipment in Georgia or elsewhere? Fifth Amendment. Stockton said he had no information about his client's possible involvement in Coffee County. It's all I can do to focus as much time as I can on, on the 13 counts that we've got and just the unbelievable amount of uh, information that's available for everything. He's hoping Judge Scott McAfee will sever Giuliani from the Coffee County defendants and even the ones specifically indicted for their actions involving the alleged harassment of Ruby Freeman. Are you ready to go to trial in August if Fonnie Willis gets her way? We will be ready. We will be ready. Candidly, we could probably go now. A trial date decision is expected soon. Stockton says his friends here in Rabin County always ask the same question when they find out he's representing Rudy Giuliani. It may be the same question you have as well. Did he get paid up front? We have arrived at an uh, arrangement that I'm, I'm satisfied with and they're satisfied with.
Well, four of the original 19 defendants took plea deals last year. As for Giuliani, Stockton told me no plea has been sought, nor is a plea offer expected. Does he think any of the other defendants might get plea deals? He says it's his understanding that there are four who definitely will not get plea deals uh, or plea offers. Uh, one, of course, is his client. Another is former chief of staff Mark Meadows, mm -hmm. law professor John Eastman, and, of course, Donald Trump. Mm. The folks at the top, according to Fonnie Willis. According to Fonnie Willis, correct. Yeah, very interesting conversation you had with him. It was. Yeah. All right. Randy, thanks.